Hi, my name's Jack and I'm from England where the year is 2017. I'm in year four at school and we are learning all about the ancient Egyptians. I hope you can help me understand a little bit more about them. Yes, of course. My name is Cleo and I am from Thebes. For me, the year is 1328 BC, so I should be able to help you. I know these are called pyramids, but what are they? The pyramids are the stone tombs of Egypt's kings, the pharaohs, and one of the world's greatest historical mysteries. They have stood for thousands of years, filled with many hidden secrets, clues about what life and death was like in ancient Egypt. Why did the ancient Egyptians build pyramids? Well, the Egyptians believed that if the pharaoh's body could be mummified after death, the pharaoh would live forever. The tombs were designed to protect the buried pharaoh's body and his belongings. Where were they built? Most of the pyramids can be found on the western side of the river Nile. The reason for this was so it would be easier to get the blocks to the pyramid. The stones could be brought nearer to the pyramid building site by boat. What was the name of the most famous pyramid? The Great Pyramid is the largest and most famous of the pyramids. It was built for the pharaoh Kuf and is over 140 metres high and took 20 years to build. What's this? Ah, this is a sphinx. It stands in front of all the pyramids in Giza to guard them. It has the body of a lion and the head of a pharaoh. And who's this? This is the burial mask of Tutankhamun. He became pharaoh at the age of nine and reigned during the 18th dynasty from 1332 to 1323 BC when the Egyptian empire was at its height. Why is Tutankhamun so famous? The reason that Tutankhamun is so well known today is that his tomb, containing fabulous treasures, was found in 1922 by British archaeologist Howard Carter. What's Egyptian writing called? The Egyptian writing is called hieroglyphics. It uses pictures to represent different objects, actions, sounds or ideas. There were more than 700 hieroglyphics and some pictures stood for whole words. The Egyptians did not write vowels and did not use any punctuation. What does the word hieroglyph mean? Hieroglyphs is made from two Greek words. One is hieros meaning holy and the second is glyph meaning writing. So hieroglyph means holy writing. How do you know which way to read hieroglyphs? You need to look closely at the hieroglyphs to find out. It depends on which way the people or animals are facing. For example, if an animal hieroglyph faces right, you read from right to left. If it faces left, you read from left to right, the same way that you do. Just to confuse you, sometimes hieroglyphs read from top to bottom. What did ancient Egyptians write on? Hieroglyphs were written on papyrus reed, which is a water or marsh plant with tall, straight, hollow stems. The reeds were flattened, dried and stuck together to make pages. The Egyptians also carved hieroglyphs onto stone and painted them on the walls of the tombs. What's this? This is a mummy. What are mummies? A mummy is the body of a person or an animal that has been preserved after death. Who were the mummies? They were any Egyptian who could afford to pay for the expensive process of preserving their bodies for the afterlife. Why did the Egyptians make mummies? The Egyptians believed in life after death. They believed that they had to preserve their bodies so they could use them in the afterlife. So what's the afterlife? The Egyptians believed that when they died, they would make a journey to another world where they would lead a new life. They would need all the things they had used when they were alive. So their families would put those things in their graves. 
Egyptians who were poor were buried in the sand, whilst the rich ones were buried in a tomb. Ancient Egyptians were buried with their belongings and the tomb walls were painted with scenes from the dead person's life. The objects included furniture, games and even food was placed in the tombs for the long afterlife journey. Well, I hope that this has helped you to understand and learn a bit more about the ancient Egyptians, Jack. Yes, that's great. Many thanks, Cleo.